hello good day viewers welcome back once again today we're going to solve for the value of x that will satisfy the given equation we have x raised to the power of x raised to the power of x plus one equals root three now let's get started from the left hand side we need to manipulate this given expression so it can obtain something really nice right so here we have x raised to the power of x raised power of x plus 1 then this is equal to root of 3 now we need to observe that the power of this x here is exactly x plus 1 right which actually means we can actually put this expression as x in bracket then we have the power of this x which is the base which is x raised power of x plus 1 right then this will be equal to root of 3 now from here let's take note of the following when we have a to the power of b plus c this will be equal to a to the power of b multiplied by a to the power of c so from here we have x to the power of x plus 1 so we can make use of this property from here so we have x then raised power of that will be x raised power of x multiplied by x to the power of 1 then this will be equal to root 3. Now from here, we have x, then raised to the power of x, raised to the power of x, then multiply by x, then this is equal to root of 3. Now, there is another interesting property we need to make use of here. Remember, when we have a to the power of b multiplied by c, we can actually put this as a to the power of c to the power of b or also switch it as a to the power of b to the power of c so this is applicable here right because this base here has powers multiplying each other right so we can actually put it like this x to the power of this x here right then raised power of x to the power of x then this is equal to root of 3 now the most interesting part of this video is that I will be making use of the Lambda W function and the answer to this problem involves two Lambda W function operations, right? Oh, that's amazing. But let's see. So here we have x to the power of x, then x to the power of x, then this is equal to root of 3. Now from here, let's take the natural log of both sides. So here we have the natural log of x to the power of x, then x to the raised to the power x to the power of x. This will be equal to the natural log of root 3. Now with the property of natural log redeem, you know, the natural log of a to the power of b is the same as the b here coming crossing over then becoming b times the natural log of a, right? So from here, this becomes x to the power of x multiply by the natural log of x to the power of x then this is equal to the natural log of root 3 now from here x to the power of x we can actually put it in exponential form but take note of this a like this can be written as e to the power of natural log of a when a has power let's say a power of b we can write it as e to the power of b multiplied by the natural log of a so from here, x has a power of x, so we can put it as e raised to the power of x times the natural log of x. And here, this power of x here can cross over, and that will become x times the natural log of x. Then this will be equal to the natural log of root 3. From here, we can make use of the lambda w function. Remember that the lambda w function will be following an argument x times e to the power of x, where the power of e and the coefficients are equal. This simplifies to just x. Now, when we take the Lambert W function on both sides, the left-hand side simplifies to x times the natural log of x. Then this will be equal to the W of the natural log of root 3. Okay, now again, remember that this x here, we can actually rewrite it as e to the power of natural log of x, then multiply by the natural log of x, this equals the w of the natural logarithm of 3. 
of root 3, I mean. So from here, we can take the lambda w function on both sides again. Amazing. Oh my god. Have you ever seen something like this before? I was even surprised when I solved this problem and figured out that there are two lambda w function operations involved in the answer. Then I used my calculator, the super advanced calculator I told you guys earlier in the previous video that I always make use of this lamb of this calculator, I mean, to evaluate this lambda w function. When I did that, I found out that this approximated the right answer very accurate. So from the left hand side, with this property of a lambda w function, so this simplifies to just the natural log of x which equals the w of the w of the natural log of root 3. From here, x is equal to e to the power of the w of the w of the natural log of root 3. And using my calculator, this gave me the right approximation as 1.328. 093 then 1326 and this is the right answer thank you for watching please kindly subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video click the notification icon so that you'll be notified anytime i upload new video thank you bye bye see you in my next video